everyone in this tutorial about building a level generator like Diablo uh, in this, and we're going to make it so it works in multiplayer as well so I didn't prepare this tutorial because I, I needed to build a generator for my game and I thought I was gonna I, I was just gonna record the whole the whole process and break it down in several videos for you guys so but before I dive I dive right in. Uh, let's talk about the tech design of the of the of the generator. So we're going to talk about different steps we want our our level generator to take in order to produce the level, and it's going to tell us um, it's going to to explain us how we need to build our system to to fit our design logic. So the tech design is really tied to the game design. Uh, the different steps I'm going to explain there are directly governed by the game design rules I want to set. And these rules are set up. Uh, I, I'm, I choose this rule based upon this video by the Diablo uh, designer Ed Haynes. So he's talking about level design in this video and I watched it, I watched it all and I uh, I had to say I pretty enjoyed it, so I want, to, and this gave me the the will to build my own generator like Diablo. So we're going to talk about the different steps the level generator is going to take. So we have a level generator. What is generator is going to do in the first place? I believe it's going to create the start the the start tile. Uh, the, style, the tile uh, players are going to, to start in. Uh, then I believe it's going to... I believe it's going to generate to find out where to... So I, I already thought about these different steps. So I'm kind of putting them uh, on, on paper right now with you guys. So after after creating the start tile, we want what do we want? I think we want to check out where is the next tile location. Find out the next tile location. And what do we want to check here in order to know what is the so uh I didn't even talk about the generator I want to create. I will create a generator, a grid-based generator. So it's a, it's a generator with several tiles plugged to each other. Each, tiles, each tile knows if it's a, a three-way, a four-way, a corner, a dead end, and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys. So basically... I don't know how I can do that easily. So I think I'm going to ask for an arrow. So basically what do we want here? We want to make a generator that says that works like I want to make a generator that works like Diablo so it basically works like this. Uh let me do that real quick. We have different tiles, different type of, type of tiles. Uh, can, can I just, can I just reverse this? Okay. Uh, I guess I will need to use something else. So basically, the Diablo generator plugs with each other rooms and then and then you got the idea we have different type of rooms and this is the start tile so basically what does the the Diablo generator, the what does the Diablo generator goes like this? He creates the start tile, then he tries to to put, a, to, he finds the next tile location randomly around it. So it could be, 
It could be south, east or west, but it shows north, for instance. Then it does it another time, and then another time, another time, etc. There are rules that makes it so it cannot go, it cannot make the corridor like this. Or maybe you can set up rules in order to make it do a corridor like this, to force, to force the generator to build a corridor. You can set up rules, and these rules are going to be set up here, when, where we find out the next tile location. So the generator is going to build, to plug tiles with each other like this, is going to know which tiles are connected to what cardinal points. For instance, he knows that this tile is, tied fr is going from south to north, and this tile from south to east, and this tile from east to west, and etc. We're going to have, uh, we're going to need at least one tile of each type. So I'm, I'm going to break uh, down the different types uh, afterwards. So we create a third tile. We find out the next tile location, and basically, finding out the next tile location is about is there free space around the next tile so if i choose this if i choose this tile do i have space to put other tiles on the east on the west on the east on the west on the north or don't don't i have for instance if if i'm at this point of the generation and this tiles this tile has to find out the next location it is likely to find this to choose to choose this spot over this one or this one. Uh, I, I, I mean, he could, he could choose either this location or this location. We, we prefer these two location over this one because these two location have more free tiles around them. So basically the generator says, hey, I'm, I'm, generating, I'm generating this tile, then where, where am I going? I'm likely to go there, except if I tell him not to build two corridors in a row so that's me that means that's our next rule i believe max corridor counts uh, we also have to take into account our map border uh, if we have limitation of space maybe we we will set up a, a certain dimension for our dungeon and maybe we are going to set different Per, um, a different am amount of chance to choose each cardinal location. For instance, maybe you have more chance to go north in this dungeon, and maybe you have more chance to go south in another dungeon. That's, um, maybe that can create several... Uh, let me just save this right, real quick. Um, this will give us more control over the flow of the dungeon. Uh, so we find out the next tile location. What do we want to do afterwards? We want to uh, put the tile here. Basically, we find out the next tile location. Then we actually put the tile in here. And putting the tile in here will likely is likely to have several. Mm, we need to do several stuff here. We need to tell. We need to tell our previous tile that it is connected to us. So we'll tell previous tile we are connected to it. We are going to tell this tile is connected to our previous. Uh, this basically. This basically means this, these two rules basically means I'm displaying this rec this arrow. I'm telling this tile that it is connected to this one, like this. I'm basically building that arrow. Uh, we are build, building that arrow. We are going to store this information, uh, the connection information about all the tiles. So we're going to do this. Then, then maybe we're going to consume some value in order to avoid. Uh, this is going to be our metr our 
dungeon length metric, basically. The value is going to be the length of the dungeon. Uh, and that's it. And that, then what are we going to do? We are going to check if we reached our maximum amount of value. Basically, if we reached the, dungeon, the maximum dungeon length. If we did not, we are going to find out the next tile location once again and repeat the process. And then if we did, so this is no, nope. And if we did, we are going to put our end tile. We are going, ah, yeah, we are going to place our end tile. And then maybe we're going to have a few more, a few more steps like checking for additional tiles to spawn. Maybe, maybe we're going to set up some rules to, to spawn some special tiles or uh, stuff like that. More scripted things opposed to uh, not random things. Maybe we're going to add scripted events. Uh, like uh, adding a prison in the end of the level, always adding a prison in the end of that level, always adding a ladder at the beginning, always adding a, a shop in the middle, maybe stuff, mm, adding some uh, more control events in this dungeon. Uh, what about, what else? Uh, we are going to check for extra connections. So what does that mean? Uh, let me just, yep, like this. So checking for additional connections. This means that I'm going to show you with the dungeon. So we have a dungeon. We spawned we spawned everything. So maybe it went it went like this. Maybe like this. It went this way. But it also spawned a tile here. Uh, let me just finish this. So the dungeon, the dungeon started here. It spawned, it spawned, it spawned this, 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 and this, and this spawned the the end tile here. But we had an extra step where we checked for additional tiles to spawn and we spawned one additional tile in the end of the dungeon and it shows this tile. It spawned an additional tile here <coughs> and it told it to, to be connected to this tile. But it, it's also nearby this tile. So this might be opened maybe the level generator decides to open this connection here maybe it does not but it's going to be sub it's going to be controlled by rules uh, but this is considered like additional connections so then wh what are we going to do we are going to check for scripted replacements what it is this is another scripted and controlled events uh, step in the level generator so basically this says hey i want this level maybe this is the the dungeon, the, the the goblin level, and maybe you also have, uh, um, how can I say, how can I say, a boss level, and in the boss level you want, you want your if you have if you happen to if you happen to have a four way like this, you want it to be the boss room instead of the end tile. So if you want this. We are going to specify here in th in this step check for scripted replacements. 
we're going to say we want one scripted re replacement. If you find one four way, you remove the generic tile chosen for it. You remove the tile and instead you put a scripted tile you chose. So that's always here. You always want the green tile if you happen to have a four way. So that's another step. And then finally, we are going to tell each room what it is. And we are going to spawn all tiles. Basically, when I was talking about placing tiles, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't mean spawning them. I mean record them in a board and for an, and up until this point this was just uh, a mental representation of the dungeon. It has no physical representation if our, in our game. It was just information in a, in a board and now we're going to spawn the tiles. But what do we need to do? We need to tell each, each tile what does it need what what type of tile it needs so we are going to tell to tell this tile it's it needs to find a south a south to north corridor we are going to tell this tile to find the south to east tile this one to find the west to east this this tile to find the north north south east uh, west tile etc etc and each tile is going to know what type of tile it needs and it's going to spawn it. So this is about it, I believe. So what type of tile do we need? We need a corner. We need the corner that goes from north to east. We need the corner that goes from north to west. We also need south to east, south to west, and this is our corner. We have our dead ends uh, from north, from south, from east, from west. We also have, I'm going to make another square. Actually, I'm going to make squares for each types. So this is about the corners. This is about the dead ends mm, and we also have three way three ways four ways and corridors So what do we have here? We need north, east, west. We need north, south, east. We need south, east, west. We need north, south, west. The four way as it all. So north, so north south, east, west. Uh, and the corridors we have south to north and uh, I mean north, north to south and east to west. And this is it. So we need at least one type of each tile. So this was about the tech design. I'm going to wrap this video up and I'm going to and we are going to dive right into Unreal now. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.